Hi everybody, welcome back to Charlie and me, our camping vlog. It's December. It's a frosty morning as you can see by the uh, cars here behind me and it's 20 to 11 on I think it's the 2nd of December. Uh, camping is more or less finished for the season. I'd say we won't get back out now till possibly, possibly a night or two over the winter just to go for a bit of a spin and give the camper a run but I'm, I'm here at my storage yard about to put the camper back into storage water tanks are drained but before we do that myself and Charlie were away camping this weekend today is Monday and while I was away I was getting some work done as you know and I'll put a link uh, up here uh, I met Dennis and Dennis tows a Peugeot on an A-frame behind his camper van Mercedes Sprinter and we got rid of our smart car and our trailer and we bought a little Fiat 500 and we wanted to get the A-frame and uh, A-frame towing in Ireland is a grey area and in Spain and France it's a grey area but uh, look you take your chances okay so while I was away there's a mechanic here in our yard called Anthony and he's a good kid I gotta just stop that door there's a mechanic here in our yard called Anthony and he said if I buy the A-frame he'll fit it because otherwise I would have to go to Fermanagh because there is nobody in the Republic of Ireland um, that we could find from doing extensive research that could fit the A-frame or would risk fitting an A-frame. Now, I bought it from Carato in the UK. Myself and Chris were over at the INEC or the NEC over in Birmingham and we met a few towing companies but they were all 2000 euro and brake servo and high tech and I would have had to go to the UK to have them fitted but Dennis as I mentioned earlier on who tows his Peugeot got his done from a company called Tar sorry Cara Tow and they shipped it to Ireland and then a guy in Fermanagh in Northern Ireland fitted it I wasn't really didn't really want to go I rang the company in Fermanagh they said yes we'll fit it take about four or five hours they dropped me to the bus and I could go into Belfast I just wasn't comfortable driving up there getting the A-frame fitted let me show you this let's just take a walk in here and turn on some lights although we don't need the lights we'll sure turn them on and this is what happened over the weekend while myself and Charlie were away now disclaimer this morning I bought that jockey wheel it didn't come there is an option of a jockey wheel it didn't come with the jockey wheel so I went and I spent 50 euro on a jockey wheel but Anthony did a great job the electric loom which is here connects to the camper van runs through the frame runs up through the frame and it goes in here to a plug and you can actually close your bonnet while you're driving. This cable here is connected to my brake cable, so when we brake, it pulls the brake cable. You get a little bungee cord, which I haven't fitted yet. In fact, I think I threw it over there. Um, you get this bungee cord, which has to connect to the brake cable. And uh, when I brake, there's a loom goes all the way down here and when I brake it turns on the brake lights I have clips that go over that reg plate and I can clip the camping trailer reg plate onto that I have not loaded this yet Now, there's a couple of ways we can do this. I found that when I sit in the car, I can actually see here. So I can actually drive up. I think if I raise this slightly, I think I could drive up to there. And not having Deirdre with me here to help me guide it on. Because it's not like a trailer where it's light enough to pull forward. Anyway, I'd hate to take the handbrake off the car. 
you don't know what will happen. So I'm going to try <laughs> and capture it on camera. <laughs> this could go totally wrong, but I'm going to try and jockey this up just another little bit. If I take off that cable. And my plan is to drive this up to here and hopefully that'll work out. So let's try this. And now I'm going to try and just jockey this down onto this. I'll take up this jockey wheel like so and like so. Now I've never done this so I think I think that's on. Then you have your emergency brake cable which I can hitch onto that, jockey wheel up, electrics in, handbrake is off, handbrake is on, handbrake is off. I noticed when I pulled the handbrake it pulled the cable. So let's see how that goes. So what I want to do is just go up here and switch on. Uh, oh my God, one of the lads has come to collect his car. And we'll just check that the lights are on. Again, this is all new to me. Okay, we have lights. So I'll just turn them off. Now, there are a few things you have to do before you go. As I said, now I'm not gonna do this now because uh, I'm literally gonna be putting the camper away. But we have to put the bungee cord onto that pedal down there. But as I say, I'm not gonna do it on this trip. Another thing you have to do is make sure that your car is out of gear and that your steering lock is unlocked and that your handbrake is off. I got this key cut, which won't start the engine because I, I had a bit of a fear about leaving the she's in neutral the handbrake is off steering lock is off because the key is in that lock the car and then you have your standard keys to lock the car okay Excuse the noise of the uh, import, <laughs> but uh, let's go for a spin. Now I drive with my reverse camera on all the time, and I'm telling you now, there's a difference towing this and towing the smart car on the trailer. This is a bit heavier. And the only way, I didn't bring the GoPro, and I meant to bring the GoPro, I'm just watching it here on the uh, I'm watching my wheels turn outside in the mirrors I meant to bring the GoPro to clip it to the back of the camper and maybe I'll do a more in-depth view but yes it's definitely heavier towing out of here I'm trying to think where I can go that's just a loop around my shed so I've got a, a loop in mind and there's a few hills on it and when I get out just out here I'll show you on the uh, reverse camera how it looks this is how it looks on the reverse camera it's beautiful December morning but I'm just clocking along at 30 miles an hour here yeah it's definitely heavier than the smart car and the trailer. I'm just climbing a hill here. I don't have to change down. I'm in Fort. The big uh, 40 foot truck behind me normally where they're slowing us down. But uh, let's drive on another bit. I have uh, a couple of roundabouts to go through. I'll just keep an eye on it between the mirrors and the reverse camera. 
So as I told you guys, this was my first time seeing this. Uh, Anthony the mechanic did the job for me over the weekend while we were away. All I had to do was spend an extra 50 quid on the uh, clamp for the jockey wheel and the jockey wheel itself. All I have to do now is get the reg plate made and fit the bungee cord onto the brake. That cable is connected to the brake cable and Anthony said to me, inside there's a little clip just when I'm driving the car normally, take that clip out and it frees up that cable altogether and it won't interfere with braking on the car. I got a key cut, as I said earlier on, that just turns on, unlocks the steering. It's a lot heavier than the smart car. I have to be honest, I can feel the difference, but I can get up to 60 or 80 kilometers uh, comfortably. So that was okay. Uh, all indicators did work actually. I said earlier on in the video, I couldn't see the front ones, but I forgot where the front ones were and I saw the side ones working. And then I focused more on the reverse camera and saw the front ones working. Everything seems to be okay. I'm now going to show you how to disconnect the whole thing and take off the AFM for the first time. So I haven't done this, so we're doing it together, okay? All right, I just had to put on a, an extension cable for the microphone so I could show you guys what we're doing. So I think the plan is you make sure you drop the jockey wheel. Make sure not to. Okay, tighten it back up. Um, I'm thinking of getting a, a loop welded on because I don't like it. See, I don't like where I have this safety cable. So I think I'll get a loop welded on. So safety cable up and I'll just wrap it around there. I'll make sure I don't catch my microphone cable just to keep it up. I'm not gonna pull on the handbrake because I have the handbrake on on the car. There's a little hole there for that, which I like. There's a handle here for carrying. Yeah, maybe I don't like that. Now, um, push the button in here and then oh, this cable. Now, other way, rise the jockey wheel. And there's the whole thing up off. And now I can just drive the car back. Again, reminding you guys, I haven't done this before. The last time I saw this done was the time when um, Dennis showed us on the video. So I'm going to lower the jockey wheel and take the jockey wheel up, which should lower that down to the ground. Now, there are clips here on the brake cable. Take that out, put the clip back. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave that clip on this. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Another clip here and another clip here. That comes out there and that comes out. Oh, actually, before I do that, you can see, this is new to me. Let's, uh, let's disconnect the electrics. Again, my cable is just getting in the way. And now I'll take this out. And that should drop all that down to the ground. Now, you do get covers to put on here. And these are said rubber caps. Now, I was talking to Anthony, the mechanic that fitted this, and he said there is an option to actually screw these out, take them out, throw them in the bag. For the, I think I would over the festive season when I'm not using the car, but for the moment, those caps go on like that. That's left out through there. You put all these pins back together. I gotta buy myself a little sports bag. Actually, I think I have one in the boot, belong to Charlie. And throw all the bits into that. And then that's what you're left with. Now I haven't done this again. I did see on a previous video that if you do buy a jockey wheel, these actually come with a jockey wheel. For some reason, mine didn't. We'll just have that wrapped around it. Now, 
Now I believe that these, yeah, they do. They fall down. Like that. And away we go. And one car without the A-frame. I think for the winter, I will end up taking these off. Uh, Anthony's gonna show me now how to do it for future reference. I won't show you, excuse me, I'm out of breath. I won't show you the A-frame in the boot because I have a lot of cardboard boxes from the storage that I'm just down, going down to the dump with. But that is one very, very good job. It really is. So there you go. Um, A-frame fitted to our 151 smart car pop. I will give you the details down below and if I think of it, I'll write them in the description to Coatar. This is not a paid for promotion. They gave me no discounts. They gave me nothing. I'm just doing this to let you guys know that there is an option of an A-frame out there. I think it was 1100 sterling, about 1130 sterling, including delivery to Ireland from the UK. Um, I don't know what Anthony is going to charge me. I do know the guys in Northern Ireland said there won't be much change out of 400 sterling. Whatever he's going to charge me, I think it's worth it. Again, Anthony has said I can give you his phone number. Here it is here, Anthony. Ring that number if you're thinking of buying an A-frame. This place is called Pilltown, County Kilkenny. Now it's near, it's only two miles from Carrigan Shore, which is County Tip. It's about 15, 20 miles from, 15 miles from Waterford. Just to give you an idea of where his yard is, um, that's his big shed there. He's a mechanic. He does work on camper vans, as in mechanical work because this hoist is big enough, but he's, he's a car mechanic. Um, he wires trailers and stuff like that. That's how I knew that he'd do that. He's great at welding. There was no welding needed in that. He said that that kit is modified for different, different models. So I gave the guys in the UK my VIN number, the model of the car, and they sent me that over by courier within two days. Again, this is not a paid for promotion. I'm just doing it to help you guys out if you're thinking of getting an A-frame. And again, there's Anthony's contact number. Give him a buzz and he can see if he can fit it for you. But he said he did it on Saturday. First time took a few hours, but he reckons uh, they get an awful lot easier. That is it from Aaron. No Charlie today, because the yard is just too busy to have him around, floating around. Thank you for subscribing. And again, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And remember our podcasts with myself and Chris, the camping crew, uh, we're available on most podcast platforms. We'd love for you guys to listen in and if you want to get in touch with us all the details are on the podcast of how you can get in touch with us all right take care and we'll talk to you again very very soon from charlie and me our camping vlog bye bye stay safe